Today I'm walking to do a wee intro here because I, I forgot to say hello from Warminster. Uh, I, I got distracted uh, when I went there and uh, I'll see more at the end. So, it's hello from Warminster uh, for Warminster from Warminster to Keith the game's on today in the second division, Ormiston, Primrose vs of Keith Thistle, Pitburn here, top of the league vs Edinburgh South, and East South Full League vs Andrews, we are in second place. Wednesday, I'm going to go to the Thornton Hibbs vs Newburgh, well there's the league table left, Pitburn are top as I mentioned, uh, but what's interesting, Del Keith Thistle are in fourth place. They have a, a chance if they win their games, and of course it depends on uh, it was the first day, but they have got a mathematical chance to get into that promotion spot, so they'll be uh, wanting to win obviously today. Uh, and the main thing is at the bottom there, almost in Primrose, are uh, in 15th place, and they've still got a chance to catch in, they've got what four games in hand over three points in Primrose, and they've still got a chance to catch in three points in if they win their game, so most teams will be desperate to win today. Right, I'm in the, the nice uh, pavilion here. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I, I've been told they're going to build a new stand next year, and I think I've uh, just seen the plans just now. This. So 200 it's people. It's going to be for, uh, built for 200 people. The steps in is future proof, making them wider, so as we come out some money, we can uh, put seats in. And this, well, the end of the season, next uh, season. Then. Hopefully. Uh, yeah. It'll be the end of the season, but the season's getting, uh, the close season's getting shorter and shorter. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so it's just when uh, you can get the world and turn whether it gets started during the close season, and we we'll have to play some away games at the beginning of the season to get it finished. Or what? We don't know yet. Very good. Just at the minute, we'll date the club to 1890 because we can prove that, but we think it actually goes beyond that. Uh, we need to get to the archives in Harrington for the the newspaper archives and yeah. go through them and spend time going through them and find the exact date when the club was founded. But it's, it's, it's 1890 at least. Yeah. And probably longer. Caitlin, when, when Caitlin Amateurs left amateur football in 1986 and joined East of Scotland League, oh, right. uh, having won everything in the amateurs, and then with the merged with Bombs and Primrose in 1998, right. moved down to Ormiston. Ah, so right, two clubs right. played down here. Um, and it was, it was called Pinkaitl and Ormerson for a wee while, and then it became Ormerson for a while, and now it's never reverted to the original Back club. Back to Ormerson and Primrose. Which, which is what it always it, was. Any difference with the Primrose? I mean, there's a lot of clubs either Thistle, Lolly, Hawthorne. They're just, they're just you chose a flower, do you think? There's no. I think it's just a flower. There's a lot of, there's, yeah. there's, there's a, a, a lot of roses and a lot of there is. blue dyed Mayflowers and things like that. That's right. Yeah. And I, I think back in the day, that was the, that was yeah, the convention. That's right, there is. I don't know, bluebells, another one, eh? Yeah, the bluebells. Yeah. So it's done.
Ah, that's the bar. Well, let's kick off uh, the dockies in the red and the. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, it's a little food link. Isn't it far away though? Corner of the game to Pumps and Pummels. Oh, good corner. I'm lucky. Oh, I think I'll hit it for a corner after the first corner. Oh, never lost you yet. Yeah. There's no way. Oh. I'm going to start my own somewhere. I'm going to get that. Oh, it's a ball across. Oh, no. Oh, 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 this is. Oh, that wind. Oh, oh, that's a goal. Over the line. I think that wind was the goal. Oh, that's a problem. 1 0. 
Entre homens são para nós. Então, vem na ida da boxe. Chance para o Kifter. Cut back. Another goal. Past the wall. Oh. Oh, there you go. One out. If you're going to hit back uh, after going one nil behind, that's the way to do it. <laughs> uh, right away, minute after the last goal. Oh. Outside the box again, same position, just about as the last one. Oh, good tackle. Oh, no, it's a shy. That's a throw. Pie and tea. Oh, a quick half time review. Well, we're going to get my tea and pie. Um, not one all. I mean, I thought um, the police started a better team. Um, <coughs> obviously, Primrose came into the game and uh, they got a couple of corners. They were looking dangerous and um, they deserved to get their goal. But of course, <coughs> as I say, if Dalkeith uh, were going to hit back, well, right away they did it. They took basically the first attack foul there. Uh, they all did their job, but I mean, they. Uh, Almost didn't clear their lines really, and uh, they'll keep people eyes. So, ah, good game. Well, that's the thing that I'm just about to get underway. But this is one of the best steak pies ever. 150 for a steak pie, lovely. And a bob roll. It's all 150 as I say, steak pie. Bob roll, about 250. Good value. Oh, 
The problem was I've certainly saved the second half built up. Don't the real transfer Dalkis here. So Dalkis first corner of the half. Oh, at the bar, top of the bar. Again, but no, no, no. A short corner this time by Dalkis. Pressure by those kids here, but oh, this time, oh, this time is good. Oh no, offside, is it? Oh, I offside. Ah, those kids have certainly had a lot of pressure there, and uh, I mean, I looked offside, but uh, I think it shows you how dangerous they are in this half. Transfer all the sun back over the back. Oh, that was a far away. And they'll keep it with the wind behind them as well. That wind is quite strong. And uh, it's almost in a face in that wind. And it can make a bit of a difference. It's got a cold wind. Oh, just off the post. Oh, we're shooting for a side there. 
uh, I'll have to watch it again, but uh, that was a bit of a defensive mistake by John Keyford and uh, almost the players. Uh, oh, free kick to almost in, see if we can do something here. So I'm going to move behind this tree here, see if that makes a difference. Oh. <laughs> I'm following you, I know. I know. I know. It's a wind. It's a nightmare. But the forecast is that it didn't get worse and worse. Aye, I know. It's a wind. Is that cold wind? I know. Back up, he said. Oh, I just missed the Dalkeith goal there. The two one at Dalkeith. Yeah, I'm trying to. It's a, it's a wind in the rain. It's incredibly cold as well. And uh, I think I, I, I don't know why they're there, but anyway, I can figure it's too cold. So sorry, Dalkeith fans. Um, good goal, but uh, maybe just as well I missed it for the Primrose fans. Eh? Oh, there was a goal. Look at that one. 3 1 now to Dalkeith. Now I'm going to for some shell. Oh, this is horrendous. The wind's cold. And, uh, oh, dear me, it's wet. So I'm going down to the pavilion stand there that end under a bit of shade. Shell. Oh. Well, that's full time. We want to donkey. Hi, so I've seen at the beginning, uh, I, I went into the, the ground, the new recreation park and uh, I was just starting to take some photographs and I got distracted because uh, John Greenhorn, the secretary, saw me and said, oh, come in for a cup of tea into the pavilion. And uh, <laughs> and so I forgot to do my It's Hello From uh, Ormiston. Uh, but it was a very nice welcome uh, from John. I also met the chair, uh, Tom Muir, who was very keen 
to show me the plans for the new uh, covered enclosure which uh, so East Lothian Council will get that through the planning fast track um, we could have done with that the day it was the weather was atrocious it got wetter and wetter and windier as the match went on and I was trying to hide uh, behind a tree or, or shelter behind a, a big tree and uh, I really got all flustered when I I mean I missed the goal the, the second goal was it for uh, Dalkey Thistle <laughs> well, my fingers were absolutely freezing as well so uh, but what I thought it was great about Ormiston no, it looked a very clean and tidy sort of ground a lot of new work had been done to it they were talking about getting floodlights as well so it's really good to see a club improving the facilities. The game, I mean, uh, I thought Ormiston de um, deserved to go in the lead, 1-0, uh, uh, but they couldn't hold on to that lead. And I was speaking to a fan at half time, he says, it's typical, you know, they can't hold on to the lead. And that's what happened there. And then the second half, it was pretty even uh, for most of that second half, I thought then, and they, they, they should have scored, you know, had a couple of chances to, to take the lead. And if they had it, you know, they could have maybe held on to it. But Dalkeith uh, deserved either win at the end of the day. So, apart from the atrocious weather, I enjoyed my visit uh, to Ormiston. Uh, it's a great club, uh, really, as I say, a great welcome. Oh, aye, the, the, the steak pie, 150, was lovely. One of the best steak pies I've ever tasted. Uh, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you behind the goals.